Hey, everybody, welcome back to another Motivation Monday podcast for Monday, July 6th, 2020. Hope you all had a great weekend and hope you're ready for a brand new transcription assignment this month. This month, I'm really excited about this one. One of my favorite musicians of all time on one of my favorite records of all time is what I'm going to ask you to transcribe. And that song and album and player is Sonny Rollins from the album Way Out West. And the track that I would like you to transcribe is I'm an Old Cowhand. So before we talk about the actual music, I just wanted to give you a little bit of background on this album because this story is absolutely fascinating. It's one of my favorite things. So this is from a record called Way Out West. It was recorded in 1957. And the band is Sonny Rollins, Ray Brown, and Shelly Mand, three of the best musicians I could possibly ever hope to listen to. And it was interesting because it was Ray Brown and Shelly Mann's first record with Sonny Rollins. And there's a really great story that goes along with this record that I think is worth telling. So in order to fit the recording session into the musician's busy schedules, it was scheduled for 3 a.m., according to the liner notes. At 7 a.m., after four hours of intense concentration, during which they recorded half the album and should have been exhausted, Sonny said, I'm hot now. Shelly, who had been up for 24 hours, said, man, I feel like playing. And Ray, who was equally tired and had a studio call for the afternoon, just smiled. And I just think that's amazing. That is like classic, classic jazz musician stuff. You've been up for 24 hours, but when the music really, really gets going, you just want to keep playing and you know that some magic is going to happen. So I love that. And everything about the record is so playful and just makes you feel really good. Everything from the album cover to the songs that they actually record to just the joy that comes through in their playing on the record, just makes this one of my favorite things to listen to. And I had a teacher in high school that introduced me to this record, and it's just been a favorite of mine ever since. So the tune, I'm an Old Cow Hand, is written by Johnny Mercer, and it just has this really simple but extremely catchy melody. And that's one of the reasons that I'm giving it to you, just to see how deep these musicians can go with this really simple little sing-song melody and what they can come up with in their improvisations and just everything that goes into it. Now, of course, a lot of the tunes on this record have that Western theme, you know, including Wagon Wheels and Way Out West by Sonny Rollins. So it fits into the theme of the record and it's just fun, you know? It just reminds you that jazz is supposed to be fun at the end of the day. So let's talk about a few of the musical elements that I think makes this worth transcribing. So the first one is that Sonny Rollins, I think is maybe the most, if not one of the most expressive musicians that I've ever heard. And what I mean by that is that sometimes when you're figuring out what Sonny is doing, you can't really classify it. So sometimes writing down Sonny Rollins' transcriptions is actually really hard to do. He does play a lot of stuff sort of straight down the middle, but his ability to sort of stretch the time or do things with his articulation or bend the pitch, uh, he really is such a master of the saxophone. And I don't use that term lightly. He is a master of the saxophone. Um, I've heard him stuff that I've never heard anybody else do, and he does it with such ease and such playfulness that it's just so amazing. So that's one of the first reasons is, you know, you've got this really simple melody, but I want you to pay really close attention to what Sonny does with it, and I want you to try to learn every little nuance, every little tiny thing that he does, because I think with this tune, it's not going to be so much like the harmonic material and taking lines and putting them into your own playing, but it's just going to kind of be to see what's possible, just how much expression you can achieve when playing your instrument. And it doesn't matter what instrument you're playing. This one just happens to be the saxophone, but you could point to all kinds of musicians that have done this on their respective instruments 
it just sort of stretches the boundaries of what we think is possible. And just when we think that we've sort of run the well dry of different things that we could do on the instrument, we, we listen to people like Sonny Rollins and we realize like there really are no boundaries. I just kind of have to work a little bit harder. So the first thing I want you to do is literally just learn the melody, but make sure you're matching up perfectly with Sonny. That's the first assignment. And then after that, you can kind of jump into the solo and do as much or as little as you want. But on this one, I really just want you to focus on those things we talked about, sort of the intangibles, trying to recreate what Sonny has done. And I think you're going to find it a lot more difficult than maybe you imagined it would be. And it's a beautiful thing because it's really going to stretch all of us. I know that every single time I transcribe Sonny, it stretches me to my limit. And sometimes I literally just can't figure out what he's doing. And it might take me like a month to figure out some of these small things he's doing on the saxophone and be able to actually recreate them. But I know he's just been such an inspiration to me over the years. And I know so many of you out there are probably already huge Sonny Rollins fans. But let's get into some Sonny this month. I think this will be really fun for us. So make sure when you do your transcription, I don't care how much it is, I don't care if you only do a couple measures, post it in the 10 Minute Jazz Lesson community Facebook group. I would really, really love to hear all of you attempting to do this and seeing what kind of progress you make. Ask any questions you might have. We can have a discussion over there, but I'm really excited to hear some of the results from this. I will post a link to a Spotify track and a YouTube video in the show notes. So you could just go over to 10minutejazzlesson.com, uh, find this week's Motivation Monday episode, click on that episode, and you will find the links to this music. So have a blast, guys. Really excited for you to do this. And um, I'm going to do some of it myself as well. So have a great week. Enjoy listening to some Sonny Rollins. And we'll see you on Friday with a brand new episode. Bye, everybody. <laughs>